What's up guys? It's been a while since I made a tutorial, but I hope you guys can appreciate this one. I am going to show you guys how to set up a 2PC stream without a capture card using an NDI plugin for OBS Studio. This is by far the easiest way to stream without a capture card and the performance seems to be slightly better than the RTMP setup that I did before. So let's not waste any more time guys. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, step one in the gaming PC. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in my description and download the NDI plugin for OBS Studio. I'll show you the long way of how to do it as well, uh, but the link should give you a direct download. Um, here's a link. I'll leave both links. Let's see. So the link will bring you here and it'll tell you to download now via external site. And we want to get the OBS NDI 4.1.1. Scroll down. OBS NDI for Windows. And if you have Mac, you can also get that here. So I have Windows. I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows installer. And once it's done, it by the way, it's a very small file. You want to open it up. Click OK. You know, accept the agreement and go ahead and finish the installation. And once you finish the installation, you may need to restart your computer. I did. Once you restart your computer, you want to load up OBS. Now OBS, once it loads up, you may have to download a library. It might say something like the NDI needs a library to uh, continue. Just click OK, give it permission, and it'll install. I think you have to restart the computer again after that. But once you do, you can bring up OBS, like right here. And once you go to tools, you will have a new selection down here, the NDI plugin dot menu dot output settings. Now, what you want to do here, or well, let me back up a little bit before you set the NDI plugin, you want to make sure that your settings for your live stream are all set for the quality that you want. And once you have this all set up, you can click OK. Then you can go back here to the NDI plugin and what you want to do here is you want to name your computer. So my gaming computer has small balls. So we're going to name it small balls right here. This is going to be unchecked since this is the gaming PC. You want to go ahead and check this box right here and then you want to press OK. So now we're going to go into step two. I'm going to have to go to my streaming PC. So be right back. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but I'm using my mom's old laptop. I mean, this is a crappy laptop. It's one of the oldest laptops I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, for the sake of the tutorial, um, just like the gaming PC, what you want to do is you want to follow the same steps. You want to download the NDI plugin. You want to install it on this PC as well. And once you do that and restart the computer, then you will also have inside the tools right here, the NDI output settings. We named it small balls. So basically now all you need to do is very similar to the RTMP. You want to go down here to the plus symbol and you want to add an NDI source. We're, we're going to leave it default just for the sake of the tutorial. You want to press OK. Oh, it's got my government name. Press OK. Voila, I'm on my mother's laptop and you can see the desktop from my gaming PC. So what I'm going to go do, I'm going to run to the other room and I'm going to start a game so you can see how it looks. Ah, there's one small mistake. Whoops. I forgot that this uh, laptop doesn't have 1080p. Hold on a second. All right, guys, because I'm so thorough, what I did is I went back to my gaming PC and I switched it from 1080p to 720p because, like I said, this is an old laptop. And as you can see, now the screen is perfect. 
everything is the way it's supposed to be uh, so yeah guys this this is not a good laptop and it's running just fine so guys that's pretty much it I mean you don't have to have any extra programs you just need the NDI plugin you don't need an extra you know engine X or anything like that just download the plugin and uh, set it up and you're good to go if you guys have any questions regarding this let me know like you guys know I'm very supportive I'll always get back to you as soon as I can so let me know what you guys think and if you like this video give it a like and if you also feeling generous give me a sub <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time peace mm -hmm.